Well, I'm a man in a hurry. Well, it's a little early in the year for me bath. Well. for a while, I suppose. Hello! Something is wrong. Well, as my father used to say, if you go looking for trouble, you're going to find it. Let's see if there's any food in the house. It's the sound of pain. She's gonna die anyway. We don't need no special excitement for her. Why must she die? You don't know what a breach case is. Oh, how woman try to make moments like this consequential? A breach case, is it? She's gonna die, is she? Well, reach in, you ignorant thing, and turn the little one around so I can be born. It's upside down, and I... Them sharp hooves are tangled up. She starts laboring. They're all gonna cut her up so bad inside. She's gonna die. Well, have you never dealt with her before? There's one on the farm here when I worked as a boy. You just, you just reach in, cup in your hands like that, bring the palms of your hand to the hooves, sharp as they are, and protect the mare. And... I ain't got the strength for it. Oh, glory, glory, glory. Are you laughing again? <laughs> Well, in plain fact, her chances are slim. There's a rhythm to the contractions. And I have to ease the little hooves out each time between. And if she kicks while I'm at it, or if she flings herself even for a moment, the hooves are going to cut and tear and... Well, she'll be lost. Then she must not move. Aye, well, how do you prevent it? You're laying on in the hands. It can be called that. The hands, grasshopper, are the eyes and tongue of touch. Through them, a man may reach out and see another's feelings or speak his own. Is it not sad, master, that the hands of a man may strike a blow as well as caress? Pain and pleasure are like two bells, side by side, and the voice of each makes a trembling in the other. Are pain and pleasure then so alike? Are the eyes and the tongue alike? We see the butterfly and an ugly wound. And the same tongue which screams also laughs. 